I just felt like filming a haul video today, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And a bunch of these products are kind of limited edition, some spring collection type stuff. So I thought I'd go ahead and give you guys swatches before those sell out so you can decide if you wanted to purchase them or not. I'll go ahead and start off with two things that I purchased from the YSL spring collection. This first one is the Face Palette in Gypsy Opal. And I did get this because of the packaging. <laughs> this is what it looks like. In here, they're supposed to, according to the box, they're supposed to be a... The top shade is a anti-redness, the second shade is anti-dullness, three is a, supposed to be a blush, and then four is supposed to be a highlighter. So you've got um, one, two, three, and four. Personally, this doesn't even like show up for a blush on me, and I'm pretty pale. So what I had done with it is I swirled all the colors together and I set my under eyes with it one time, and I f felt like it was just a little bit too luminous for underneath the eye. And then so I figured that today I would use it kind of in some shiny spots and it worked great for that. And I also think because there is a little bit of a shine factor in here, I think a light dusting all over the face would be really pretty. Kind of like how I use the Guerlain Meteorite Pearls and just buff them all over my face as a, the finishing step in my face routine. So that's what I'm going to plan on doing with it. There's 0.31 ounces of product in here. These are pretty light. Let's see if I can do, um, get each color in here. Yeah, so you can, they're, they're pretty sheer <laughs> colors. So I, I don't think I could use y y them individually, especially like the little pants are super small on the two outer portions, but this is what it looks like all together. Kind of like a tone correcting powder with a little bit of luminosity to it. It's not even really showing up. <laughs> but anyway, that's what that guy looks like. It's the face palette in Gypsy Opal. And then the other item is the Couture Palette in Indie Jasp. I think that's how you... Oh, you're not going to be able to see that with a darn. But this is the eye palette. Again, with the packaging. Love the packaging. I haven't worn this yet, but the colors are very spring-like. And as I mentioned before, with these um, type of quints from YSL, they tend to be quite shimmery. So if you're looking for those matte shades, you're not going to really find it. Too many matte kind of colors in these palettes right here. This one is no exception. Everything's pretty... Everything's pretty shiny in here. Give me some swatches. This center color is really shiny. So they're triggering kind of that pastel spring type of colors. And then let's get let's get this peach. Which one didn't I do? This this lighter color. There's the light one. So that is the Indie Jasp palette. I also purchased the new Le Chrome Lux Eye Duo from Shantakai, and this is the duo in Tibet. And these are what the colors look like. I love these for lid shades. They're like um, they're like taupey silvers. They're really really gorgeous. Swatches. Ooh, I just think they're oh, they're so pretty. Both these colors look gorgeous on the lid. I've worn this a couple times thus far. So that's Tibet from Shantakai. I went ahead and ordered the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, and I got the one in Gleam, which is the pink-toned kit, and there's four highlighters in here. Two of them are definitely highlighters for me. The other ones might be um, blush mixers or mix them in with the lighter highlighters in the palette, but these are great big pans. Each one is 0.26 ounces, so they're, they're pretty large in size, and they are also removable, which I really like. And this was $40, which I think is a really good price for all of the product that you're getting in here. I mean, the pans are significantly sized. These two shades right here are light enough for my skin tone, so I'm all about that, and they're very shiny. And then these two are a little bit darker so I'm going to play around with them like blush mixers or either mix them in with um, the bottom two shades. So that is what these guys look like. I mean these are really shiny. I wore these the last two days um, and they're like boom. <laughs> so let's swatch these. And there is another kit too. I think it, I don't know the specific title but it's a, a warm toned palette of the same version. These ones are these ones were so nice. I like I like them so much that I thought about getting the warm version as well. So those are the bottom two. And then this one here reminds me of the Urban Decay eyeshadow. I think it's called Skimp. It's got like a duochrome to it. A pinky coral duochrome in it. This one. So that is what the shades look like. And then this is my second go around with the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold. I ordered 
We ordered it once off of Nordstrom. It came completely shattered. And then they said, try to, try to order it again when it comes back in stock because they pulled it from the website because I guess their whole batch was all messed up. And so that's what I did. It came back in and I ordered it again and this one's broke as well. <laughs> so I called them and they said to just send it back and try again. And so I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. The bar is kind of intact, but I'll show you. It comes out like that. So there's like a fault in the packaging on this, but I figured since I still have it here, I might as well show you guys what it looks like. It's, um, it's gold, It's but it's a really light yellow gold. So it's, it's light enough for me. So that's the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold. It's a really pretty, super shiny highlight, but like, I don't want it to be broken. This didn't come like with the Charlotte Tilbury box or anything. It literally came just like this in a box. <laughs> and then Too Faced released some new products, including another shade of the Too Faced Candlelight Glow Highlighting Powder Duo. And this is the one in Warm Glow. I do have the one in Pink Glow, and I've used that one quite a bit. So this one's the Warm Glow. And I wasn't initially going to get this because I thought it was going to be too dark. And then I saw some focus there, sweetheart. Um, then I saw some uh, swatches of it, and I was like, that kind of looks like it might be light enough for me. There's two shades in here. Let's let's do let's do them separate. So here's the darker shade, and here's the lighter half, and then there's them mixed together. Um, it it's gonna blend in quite a bit with my skin tone. So if I want really, I want my highlighter to really lift my face, I won't be grabbing for this one. But it does have a really nice sheen to it. And then because I liked the NARS and Stephen Klein eyeshadow and stud so much, I did go ahead and pick up the single in the shade Mortal. And this is that same type of formula as the one in stud. It's a really shiny white color. So that is Mortal. And this here, it almost, it kind of reminds me a little bit of what Becca Pearl the new Becca Pearl highlighter it looks like, but it's a little bit uh, more pigmented than that, I think. And then these next two products are new from Lancome. They're the Color Design Matte Lip Crayons, and I purchased two of them. This first one is shade 300, 300 Bite the Bullet, and it's a really pretty cool tone pink. This is what it looks like. And the colors on the end, which I do appreciate. So this is what Bite the Bullet looks like. And then the other shade that I purchased is number 310 Saw After. And this is like a corally pink color. And these products here really remind me of the new MAC Velvet Tees lip pencils that just came out. They do have, again, that dimethicone lip type product so they can stay matte on the lips while still being comfortable and not like dry your lips out. Um, these ones really remind me of the MAC ones, and also the Maybelline Color Blur pencils. Um, however, I actually think that the Maybelline Color Blur pencils have more pigment, or at least the one that I have has more pigment than either of the these two Lancome ones or the MAC Velvet Tees pencils. I purchased two of those as well, and I feel like the Maybelline ones just has more... Um, has more pigment to it. I mean, these are super nice colors, but I mean, you can kind of see that there's a little bit of sheerness in that. Two more products from Too Faced. They came out with a bunch more of their La Creme uh, color drenched, drenched lipsticks. And so I purchased the two colors that I just had to have. <laughs> one I know I'm going to probably layer with some stuff. And the other one I can wear by itself. But this one here is called Clueless. And it is a cool tone pink with some bluish purple micro glitters in it. And I don't feel like when I swatch it or when I put on the lips, I, I don't feel like I can feel the glitter in it. Okay, oh, it's almost like, this color almost reminds me of that NARS Multiple in Violet Atom. Kind of like that, if you guys can see that, like, purple-blue duochrome to it. It's a really pretty color. And then the other one is called Unicorn Tears, and I plan on layering this with some stuff. And this is the blue one. This one also has some uh, duochrome to it. But it's really, really pretty. Let's see, yeah, this one also has blue-purple duochrome to it. Should I mix them? Let's mix these. So there's those. That's what they look like together. And since I've been on such a kick with the MAC Patent Polish Lip Pencils, I purchased a couple more, including the other 
um, Ellie Goulding one. So the one that came out in the Ellie Goulding collection, this is called Innocent. And it kind of looked like nothing. I was like, oh my gosh, that's just way too nude. But when I put it on with a, a lip liner and really push it into that lip liner, it actually looks quite pretty. So that's Innocent. Like, you can barely see it there. And then the other ones, this one is called Make Me Proud. Right here. It's like a, a brown pink color. Natural shade. Then there's It's Really Me. Which is warmer, a warmer brown nude color. And then the last one is called Pleasure's All Mine. And this one's really pretty as well. It also, it, this is another one that looks kind of light, but it looks really pretty with a, um, a lip liner. I love the new MAC foiled eyeshadow I bought in Fly By Twilight so much that I ordered the rest of the shades from the Fairy Whispers collection, so I'll go ahead and swatch those for you guys. This one is called Joy Toy. And I've been wearing these, like, switching them up and wearing these a ton since I've gotten them. So that one's Joy Toy. And then this one is Sweet Illusion. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a really, really light taupe almost. It's got like a purple and a pink tinge to it or something. Silver as well. See, that one, that one's a little bit on the uh, sheer side. And then this next one is called Fairy Fay. Fairy Fair? Fairy Fair, I think. <laughs> and that is what this one looks like. So there is Fairy Fair, and then I've got Feminine Wiles, and this is a pinky color. I haven't even tried these wet, which I bet wet these are, would be like really, really metallic. Well, I suppose foil, that's, a <laughs> that's the intended purpose, but I've been using them dry, and I really have been enjoying them. And then this one is called Enchanted Forest. This is beautiful. There. Then there is Fairyland. And the last one is Magic in Your Eyes. This is like a purple hint to it. Oh, I just, I love how shiny. <laughs> these are. So there's the other um, Fairy Whispers foiled eyeshadows. And then I purchased some things from the Dior Spring 2016 collection, which is called Glowing Gardens. And this first one is the blush in floral pink 844. And I know there's two blushes that came out in this collection, but one's an Asian exclusive. Um, so I'll just show you this guy. The embossing on these is just absolutely, it's stunning. It is so, so pretty. Um, I've been wearing this blush quite a bit. I've just used the Wispy um, powder brush, the, the Wayne Goss 14 brush is what I've been using and this is stunning. I absolutely love it. It shows up really nice on my fair skin tone. It's got a bit of a glow to it that's just really pretty. But on me it really shows up as a really pretty glowy pink color and I love it. I've been wearing it a ton. I also purchased the two quints in the collection and these are that baked jelly type of formula which I absolutely love. The color selection in these might put off some, some people because they're just a little bit different. I've worn both of these quints and all five of the shades and both of them are quite shimmery. Um, the thing with like, I know that sometimes people are really gung-ho about the pigment and stuff but like when I look at a designer collection from a, a brand like Dior or Chanel when they do designer, you know, collections. I always think of like their promo picture, picture and the look that they're going for with their collection as opposed to, you know, is that the most pigmented color I've ever seen or do all those colors work together type of thing. So I always have that in mind when I look at palettes like this and then when I go ahead and, because I, I like to use just the palette alone to see how the look comes out and it always, it always resembles something with how their spring collection type looks on a face. So I, I think that's kind of cool. However, I know it's not for everybody. I happen to personally like both of these. They're very spring looking on the eyes and I've worn them both and I just stuck to the five shades that are in there. But again, these, I don't think they're gonna be for everybody. So those are those ones. And then which other one? I got a swatch, this guy down here. 
which is a peach. And then the other quint is called Rose Garden 451. And same thing, I've worn this one and I just felt, both times I've worn this, I just felt very light and fresh and springy. Meanwhile, it's like blizzarding and 20 below outside. <laughs> but um, it really gave me hope for spring at least. It, they're pretty. I think they're really pretty soft colors on the eyes. Again, these do have a sh uh, sh shine to them, all of them. So there isn't any matte. I wore this green on the lid and put that pink in front of it. It was so pretty. Then I put that guy through the crease right there and blend it out with that one. But there are those. So you can see they're quite springy shades. And then, which one did I swatch? This one? And then the last two products, I think, are just absolute stars of this collection. These are, again, that baked jelly type of formula. They're the Dior Skin Nude Air Glowing Gardens Illuminating Powders, and this first one is 001 Glowing Pink, and that's the one that I have on my cheeks today. It's, again, that baked jelly type of formula, so think um, In Extra Dimension by MAC or like the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Jelly type stuff. That's how this is. I, I do feel like depending on what brush you use will depend on how much product you pick up because it's kind of it's kind of pressed a little hard. Again, like the... Um, the Anastasia Brickley Heels highlighters too, that type of a finish. So this is the pink one. It's beautiful. You better believe I had to have a backup of this guy. It is stunning. Let me swatch it next to the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in 01 because I think it's a pretty close dupe. Would be this, this half right here. Which I've actually worn that a lot and I wish that this was all highlighter. They sold the, the highlight portion of this separately, so I feel like that Dior one has filled the void <laughs> for that. <laughs> but you can see how similar those two are. This is stunning. I love it. And the other shade is 002 Glowing Nude. It is beautiful. I've only lightly swatched this one with my finger. It's the same type of formula, however, but this one is the, the warmer one, so it'll suit uh, people who like the go more golden looks as opposed to the pink. Um, that's what the, the um, embossing looks like. It's so beautiful and I'm going to totally mess it up. <laughs> you can see how bad I, uh, the other one was messed up because I've worn it a ton. So this one's more golden. I think that would look stunning on a ton of different skin tones as well. It is slightly too dark for me but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a use for that guy. So there's my haul for the day. I hope you guys are enjoying all the new makeup that's coming out for spring as much as I am. <laughs> I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye!